a Queen Charge Barch for this one here. Let's go. Coming in with 24 Sneaky Goblins and 18 Rocket Balloons. And that is the majority of his armies here. He's also got Skeletons, Bats, Invisibility. And I have no idea what he plans to do with this, but let's find out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. Guys, we are live into a show match for the Torneo de Fuego. It is a new start to this season, and I'm excited to see what we got for us today. But we're kicking off here with Space Station Gaming versus Penta, and we got Ping live first, and I got a camera right there. We're going to switch over to, we can see the top of his head there. That's that's uh, kind of standard for all esports players, like... You never actually get to see their faces. You're usually just going to see the top of their heads. But we'll see what he can do here as he drives his king into the top corner of the base. There's the queen charge coming in right down the gut of the base as he has a flame flinger over on the right side. And we'll see if we can keep this queen charge under control here and get the value out of the king that he's looking for. The world champion joins with the king as the king finishes fighting off the ground skellies. And then the king inside of this eagle artillery compartment. This flame flinger is doing some good work. The queen's going to take the expo as it does venture its way a little bit more towards the middle of the base but uh overall doing pretty solid here now one thing that i didn't foresee here is putting the player cam down in that corner blocks the percentage i think we need to put it up a little bit higher there where do you think is the best spot for the player cam i don't know put it in the comment section down below because we'll have a lot of these as we continue to work our way through the season and it's fun to see the players and see who's actually attacking and get their reactions and stuff like that but it looks like his road champion did finish clearing out that top compartment ended up dying into the scatter shot but not before taking a big amount of value uh flame flinger dumps out uh dragon rider a couple of balloons and unfortunately that's on the wrong side of the base here compared to where the lalo wants to come in so it's not going to do a ton out there but maybe get the air defense down so is it a super wall breaker look at this wall break Ooh, does, oh, wait, wait, the queen can circle around there. I don't know if she will or not, but he starts in the Lalo in from the left side, and he can start to collapse his way across. Goes invisible with the queen, but hits a tornado trap. She's walking around right now, staying out of the single inferno range. Okay, uh, can she? Okay, <laughs> look at this queen. She's smart. She's smart. But he'll freeze up the town hall and try to get his way to this multi inferno up there. That path thing is giving him trouble. The sweeper is not giving him. The assistance that he needs it, not, not that the sweeper is meant to give assistance, but if it was, it's not. He a path his blooms back through the town hall. Oh, it's hard to tell if he thinks he has it or not there, but we'll watch his reaction here on his camera and see what he's uh, thinking down there. Oh, all the blooms go down. Can the queen get back? She still has her ability. She's got 30 seconds to work with here. She'll go to the single inferno first. She's got oh, she's got to break through two walls to get all the way across to the sweeper here. It's a long way. I don't know if she can make it. She attacks the intersection. Maybe she can, but I don't think she's going to. I think he's going to come in at uh, 98 or a 99% two star. And there we go. He finally sits back and you see a little bit of disappointment out of him. All right. Well, let's move up uh, the player cam a little bit higher here and uh, see if we can not block the percentages here. So you guys can see a full picture. And let's move on to attack number two. All right, guys, here we go. Leo from Space Station Gaming coming in for our second attack. He's got a Queen Charge Barch for this one here. Let's go. <laughs> Love to see the Barch attempts from these pro players. Even when they don't go through, it's uh, awesome that they attempt it here. And that's what the show matches are all about, guys. Let's see if he can uh, keep this queen under control here. As he drives her to go north on the base here. And as he delays the healers until he can get a better angle of approach there. But he's taking a little bit of damage there. Now has to deploy the healers. Oh, balloons out in front there. The Tesla is not targeting his healers. Beautiful placement there. A Valkyrie comes in down the line. And he'll charge his way into the scatter shot. And then eventually he'll work his way in to pull the CC. We'll need a little bit of support here on the top side of the compartment to... Collapse in a couple of these defenses up here, but the queen will find more tests as she works her way in. That is an ideal spot to find them. Because uh, obviously the barch would have a little bit of a tough time working its way through it. But he did pull a black mine there with that balloon as it surged over by the Tesla, so that works out nice. The king 
Go into the artillery compartment directly, and the Rook Champion will pick up the compartment behind the Queen, while the King and the Queen tank out all the defenses in the area, dropping in just a couple of archers down there behind that Rook Champion to start to work her way in. Skeletal Spell keeping the enemy Queen and King distracted there as this King and the Rook Champion work their way to the top compartment, but the King starts to get uh, distracted over to the King for just a moment. King on King action right there as the header step in to turn the tide and turn right back around and take out this enemy Queen as well. Easily powers through her. And uh, how's this Queen doing? He's got the CC pull over on the side. Pops that Hound and he'll engage the enemy Royal Champion shortly. His uh, offensive Royal Champion is going to power all the way to the scatter shot while the King broke to the outside of the base and We'll start to circle around, giving her a little bit of tanking, a little bit of support there. She's not going to last much longer, though. She goes down to the cannon. Queen will march her way across towards the town hall a little bit closer. But the healers aren't getting targeted. He puts in the warden with the queen. He can get the damage output of the warden to assist there. I'm surprised he didn't put the warden with the royal champion and the king there instead. But I think he wants the extra protection here as he makes his approach into the town hall. He'll start the archers. No, that's a dragon rider in from the right side. I, I didn't expect that. I expected it, uh, archers and barbarians to collapse in those topside defenses, but it'll freeze up the air defense. The queen and the warden take the town hall down. One more drag rider in from the left side. Just very, very surgical, deliberate placement here on these dragon riders to clear the path and push the last couple of defenses down as the barge collapses his way in. The drag riders take out the wizard towers and the barge cleans up the backside. He's got it. It's absolutely crushed, but time! Time! He's got a giant bomb killing off some of his cleanup. The torch trap stalling him up for just a minute. Everybody worked their way to the last couple of buildings here. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh, he's celebrating! And he's got it! Oh, baby! It's a triple as Leo from Space Station brings it home here with the Queen Charge Barch. GG, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, Zakia coming in for attack number two for Penta. Ourselves a Queen Charge into Hog Riders. For this next attack, he'll drop in a blimp and take out the scatter shot. Very nicely done with that. Got the CC pull, form the funnel. Now we can start the queen in at the bottom of the base here, and she can cross all the way through and reach the town hall. I like what he can do with uh, wall breakers here. He's going to be able to wall break from this air defense compartment into the archer tower compartment by waiting till the... I mean, I guess I didn't even need to wait for the cannon to be down. But just to be safe, he probably should, right? Then he can wall break again to get the queen to transfer from that compartment to the next one. But that second wall break is going to be the trickiest of the two here. We'll see. We'll see. But he wall breaks... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I see what he's doing. Oh, this is clever. This is clever. I like that. He'll actually have the king take the sec. I was worried about the second wall breaker. How I was going to actually let the queen transition between the compartments. But he's not even planning to let the queen transition between the compartments. The king is set up to go to the town hall. And the queen will take the extra wall breakers and go into the core after that multi-inferno. Where she'll be able to reach all the way to the single inferno as well. And kind of dive into the back of the base here. This could work out really, really nice for him. He'll engage the enemy king here shortly. The hogs begin in early with the warden and the royal champion. A couple of Teslas popping in that right side of the base there. A couple of giant bombs are going off. Does he have to heal early? Yeah, he does. Now the giant bomb goes off there as he continues to work his way through. The king starts in after the enemy king is engaged there. He's got a headhunter protecting. The warden building goes off as he comes out of the heal spell into the scatter shot. The queen hasn't used her wall break yet. But there it goes. Ooh, oh, 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 there's all the spring traps. What? All right, well, the hogs are home free. They're not in any springs. They were all trying to go after that wall break that dodged every single one of them. What on earth? <laughs> that was hilarious. The hogs are just going to absolutely rip through this base with no spring traps to reduce their numbers. Okay, one spring trap to reduce their numbers. The queen still holds their ability and the hogs are still alive in front of this road champion, giving her tanking. She's able to hold on to her ability all the way to the end, and he just needs to get the cleanup done now. That was a, a lot of spring traps. That was specifically aimed to try to stop whatever he had coming in. Every single one of those spring traps just completely missed that wall breaker, and it made it all the way in. And I think he might have had a spare wall breaker in case it didn't, but time is going to be another issue here. 
He still has an RC ability. He'll pop it now. And... Oh. Another time fail here for Penta, but gotta give him credit for that effort. Salino is live! We've got ourselves... A lot of... What? Salino coming in with 24 sneaky goblins and 18 rocket balloons and that is the majority of his armies here He's also got skeletons bats invisibility and I have no idea What did he plans to do with this but let's find out? <laughs> That's why we love a show match guys. That is why we love a show match He'll drop in sneaky goblins to go to the town hall. That was kind of expected, but they're going to the storage first ah, That's a little bit unfortunate. I don't like the pathing he finds a drop spot there that'll get him to act, actually take the town hall. Okay. Careful with that. He needs to drop it by the barracks there. If he drops it too far south, then they go to the storage. If he drops it too far north, they go up to the collector up there. So he's got to be careful. He's got a headhunter that locks on to his king, but he froze it. He'll draw some... The Lava Hound and all those ground skellies down to the king here, but his queen taking a bit of damage there. He's got a wizard working on that archer tower though, and he saved he saves the queen ability right there. That was that, uh, that wizard came in. Absolute clutch right there. But he puts in a couple of rocket balloons up top. The king went into the base. He pops the lava hound. The queen is slowly getting topped off in her HP right now. The rocket balloons go all the way in, try to get that, that inferno down. If they get it, that'd be good. One more drops in. Does he get it? Oh, yeah, he does. All right. Queen goes back to work on the Lava Hound. And now she can follow the King and the Warden and the Log Launcher into the base here. See, so goblins do go to the Town Hall, but... Oh, he had a little bit of an issue over there as they tried to go to the storage, but he put the visibility to protect both groups of sneaky goblins, so they end up getting the Town Hall and the storage out there. Good on-the-fly visibility there, but he gets the... Royal Champion to completely layer the base in front of her with skeleton spells there to give her a little bit of protection as she works her way in. And he got that enemy Royal Champion down at the top of the base there, so his Royal Champion not gonna run into any problems there. Rocket Boots go up there. He's got bats coming at the bottom. They take the scatter shot. They're gonna wrap around. He looks good on this one. More Rocket Boots. RC survives with her ability intact as she makes her approach towards the Wizard Tower. He's got another four Rocket Boots, and he could use them on the backside here to try to. They out some of the damage, but he'll start to freeze up the Tesla farm to try to relieve some of the damage off of the bats. There's the RC ability. We'll get the sweeper out of that. And one of the Teslas. Make it a little bit easier for these last couple of bats to make it through. Look at the air defense. They're in a good spot. He, he drops in the rocket boot at the bottom to try to take advantage of the air defense still being taken there by the bats. It looks like the RC had just enough time to sweep in and take it. I mean, time. Is time an issue again? He drops in the balloon to go to the pad and stuff in the middle. Head under crosses. Oh, come on, come on. RC goes to the middle. Oh, come on. Close it, close it, close it, close it. Oh, baby, it's a triple space station. Rex in another one. Gotta love that attack there, guys. That was very, very nicely done. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. All right, two up here for space station gaming. Penta Muffin is live. Queen Charge Hog Miner Hybrid. Good luck, buddy. All right. Always uh been looking for an excuse to put Muffin on a, a thumbnail. I don't know that this one's gonna take it compared to some of the other ones we've had this war, but we'll see if we can get it done here because right now they just want to get some triples on the board because so far. They just had uh, a couple of time fails, and these time fails are absolutely killing them here, but we'll see if he can get it done. He had one wall breaker, and then a second one. He had to wall break open the arch tower before he gets the other wall to get opened up, and now the queen will have access in. The purpose of that wall formation with an enclosed building and then an open wall corner is to make so that you have to either expend more troops or risk the queen not going where you intend her to go. So, didn't take that risk, invested as much as he needed to make that happen, and it looks like he's able to easily engage that town hall and take it down there with a direct approach into it to keep the healer safe. The start is uh, queen to wrap around that compartment to circle into the bomb tower and the enemy queen. Wait out that town hall poison. He does need to deal with the CC, and he's just going to fight it with the road champion by the looks of it. 
As he'll start in his hybrid in from the bottom corner of the King of the Siege Barracks. Working the outside with the Queen. Just continues on and does her thing here. But he needs to keep a freeze on standby to protect his Queen from that enemy Queen. He'll rage up in advance and start to work his way in there. Where the hybrid comes to the bottom. He casts the first heal spell down. He just need to get the Warden and get concentrated on his Queen. There's a headhunter for the Queen to assist. That might save him the freeze. It does. Look at that. He's able to power through the Queen. Thought he'd have to burn his uh, either ability or freeze there. But he didn't have to burn either of them. There's the ward ability. It's the Midas approaching in the middle of the base there. King was able to take out the Eagle Artillery before he drops up top. Got a Lava Hound that's over on the right side. And his Royal Champion is staying away from the Lava Hound. While the Wizards out of the Siege Barracks are going to pop that Hound. And hopefully can clear up some of the pups there. Where's his poison? There it is. Perfectly placed there. But the Wizards die almost instantly. All the pups escape. And they're going to tie up the Royal Champion here. That could be a bit of an issue. He's got a minute. He's got a minute. RC. Now, working on the pups, with Electric Al goes to work there and clears a bunch of them up as well. Minus getting stuck on some grass skellies here, but the Queen taking the scatter shot on the far left side. is keeping a lot of splash damage off of them. Used a Rage over on the right side. Definitely would have liked to heal, but the Wizard Tower picks off the rest of those Miners. And now it's down to the Queen, the Warden, and the Roar Champion. He's got a little bit of cleanup here, but time is starting to run low. Archer's chipping away the top corner. Needs some cleanup on the left side to support the Queen, maybe. The placement on the bells here or the, the last cleanup here is going to be absolutely critical the sneaky goblin comes down oh queen okay queen will clear out the left hand corner needs to get the right hand corner i think he's got it i think he's got the cleanup it's all dispersed he's got it with a queen ability to swag and two freezes pentamuffin gives his team a chance here at this show match let's go maridol is live ladies and gentlemen we got ourselves a Sui Lalo coming in from the top YouTuber out of Brazil. And we'll see if he can get it done. One of my favorite players in the world. It's such a good guy. It's a wholesome guy here, guys. Oh, he's a great. He's a great guy. He's a good guy. He's a great guy. He's a, all those things. But he's charging a queen by herself with no healers. Well, in this account, the unicorn into the town hall, but he runs into a couple tests in the area. He drops in a couple blues to try to deal with that. He gets one of them. Battle Builder will try to repair some of the damage that uh, happened in there, but he had the proper support there. The Queen, with the help of the Royal Champion, will charge all the way to that single Inferno. Go invisible with the Royal Champion. Popper ability gets the sweepers down, and he actually gets the Royal Champion to help take that town hall. No, she splits off to the middle. Okay, does he freeze that town hall to try to save the Royal Champion? No, it's not worth it. He's got the CC that was about to pull the Royal Champion off of that Eagle anyways. So it wasn't worth trying to save her at all right there. But he'll fight the CC here with the Queen. Headhunters are inside of the poison. A mini comes down. He'll lose the Queen. He'll try to get that that last uh, Headhunter anchor down long enough. And he is able to do that to make sure that he gets that down with the poison. And now he starts in that Lalo. And he's got good anchor points here for the Lava Hounds. He puts in the Stone Slammer. Oh, look at the Stone Slammer placement right there. Comes in all the way up at the top. And then gets redirected towards the middle of the base. And I think it makes a direct approach to the Eagle Artillery. It does. It takes the turn. And it cleared out a huge amount of red bombs right there. It'll go take out the Eagle and take out that Multi Inferno. And then meet with everybody else. A Super Dragon pops out. Love to see that. That's a, that's a lot of firepower dropped right in the middle of the base there. Frees up that multi as He makes his approach over there. But the defensive Roar Champion giving him trouble here. He hasn't used his ward ability. Now he pops it. Ooh, he was trying to hold the ward ability to protect the headhunters. But they still ended up not getting covered. A crossover to the king. And this enemy queen's in a hurt. He's got the super dragon there. But it's got luck on the hound, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, headhunters are there, though. Blues. They got the air defense. And he might got it. Yeah, yes! <laughs> Gets their defense down. The dragon takes out the enemy queen. And he's going the distance on this one. Let's go. You can see him celebrating as that timer counts down. But the super dragon stays intact. The warden with his firepower there just needs to get the cleanup to finish this up in time. And I think he's got enough time to make it. But the archer chipping away on the left side is going to be one of the critical factors here. It's on its own. It's got 17 seconds to finish out the storage. And I don't know if anybody else is going to be able to reach it in time there. They will have enough force there to get this other storage down. But is it going to be a 99%? Oh, he knows it. He knows it. You can see the disappointment there from Marinol. 
as the archer cannot chip away fast enough and it's a 99 percent time fail here for space station we'll uh, pass it back over to penta and that along with their triple opens up the door for a comeback let's go all right guys here we go epi is live from penta let's see if they can make their comeback here as he gets ready for a hydra bat then a couple rocket balloons to go pick up that wizard tower there. Just trim out some of the the splash damage nice and early there, so he doesn't have to worry about it later. Picks off an air defense that he can use to form his funnel. Puts in the dragons to oh he's oh he's that's actually the funnel and I guess he would have got it eventually there, but he will use just rocket balloons to form out the funnels for both sides of the dragons to make their entry into both of the multi infernos and the scatter shot. Got a blimp that he can use to go take the town hall here while the king and the queen claps in the left side and work their way towards the eagle artillery. And this blimp will, in fact, take that town hall down. Gonna get that air defense as well. The sweeper knocks it back into a better drop position here. And I think it does end up taking that air defense there. Yes, it gets it on the crash damage of the balloons. The raged up balloons there will take that town hall down without any issue. Got some damage onto the queen as well. Can he freeze that queen? Does he need to freeze that queen? Okay, there. Okay, take that queen down. Okay, you got it. You got it. You got it. All right. You want to hold on to the freezes here where possible to work with the bats. But the Lava Hound ended up pulling out of the CC before the dragons were able to take that uh, CC building down. But this multi. Oh, come on. Oh, it gets it. Barely gets down the multi front of our champion. Drops in the bottom side there. But unfortunately, she's going to get stalled up by that, that uh, Lava Hound popping. Dragons. Down to one. Fighting through. He's got the bat still. Got a lot of freezes here to work with. He'll drop that uh, RC ability to get that wizard tower down. As soon as she moves into tanking position there, he'll drop in the bat there and let the Royal Champion tank that out. The freeze. Oh, nice freeze value right there. Gonna catch the entire Tesla, or half the Tesla farm, I should say, and the Expo with the wizard tower. One more freeze for the geared up Archer Tower. Come on. Look close here. He's out of freezes, though. Oh, he's out of freezes. Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. There goes the bats. And it is going to be a defense here for Penta. Not able to get it done here. Let's nice try Epi. Oh. All right. Well, the queen will get a bit more here. Maybe Wait. Hold up. Can the queen still get this? Oh, I guess the archer tower will stop him, huh? If he can get that archer tower down... The Queen with her ability will take out the Inferno and this Wizard Tower here. He's so close, guys. He's so ridiculously close on this one to go through. It's just that Archer Tower blocking his cleanup over the right side. But the Queen will take out that Inferno. And she'll step in there and fight off the CC building there. He almost got that CC building destroyed. If he could have got it, maybe he wouldn't have lost so much on his Queen and the Royal Champion. Getting stuck on the Lava Hound for a bit. And maybe he could have had it. I don't know. 92%. Castro is live. Let's pull up his camera here. If he's got one, there he is. And let's see if he can get it done, guys. He's coming in with a... What? How many healers did he have there? I see that he deployed a bunch for the queen charge. I assume that he has the two extra, maybe, for a warden walk. They're doing a double hero charge here. One minimal one. One full one with the queen charge. And then maybe... Just that small Lalo. I mean, he doesn't have... It's not really a Lalo. He doesn't have any Lava Hounds here. All right. All right. I love what a Space Station is doing this work, guys. They're absolutely having some fun with this one. But not a good show for a show match, right? That's, that's what it's all about. What do you put in this Stone Slammer? Uh, I don't like this path thing for the Stone Slammer, though. I don't think it's going to go to the multi. I think he wants to go to the multi. Oh, it does! <laughs> it does! Oh, he didn't make those other buildings invisible. That was a... That was a little bit of a waste on that, but that's all right. Oh, what's he doing? What is he doing now? Oh, rock balloons! <laughs> um, well, now what? <laughs> uh, he will circle. He's actually gonna loop out of that compartment. We'll see what we do there. But the drops in the warden with the healers and the world champion over on the far left side. All the balloons come in with the warden. To be protected by the ward building in the haze to get him into that multi. And be able to take that down there without any issue. Got this enemy queen down as well. While he had the headhunters protected by that ward ability. The world champion 
Trying to stay alive here through this uh, scatter shot. Hold on to her ability for now. The queen went back towards the town hall. She used up the wall breakers to get into that compartment, but she's looping to the inside. She wants to take her own path. This could be dangerous. He could end up with a one star here if he's not careful, but he's got freezes. He'll protect his road champion and he'll try to drive his way in. The queen has not... She doesn't hold her ability right now. And she's attacking a good wall though, but he's gonna lose a lot here as far as time. And that is gonna hurt him badly on the backside. He's got to freeze. I'm pretty sure he can get the town hall down. I think he's okay there. But he needs to be patient. And hopefully he has enough cleanup on the backside after that to still go in there and take it. Unfortunately, he's gonna have to path through the town hall poison to get to the backside of the base, and that's gonna hurt. I don't know if he's I don't think, I don't think he's gonna make it. He had the queen to loop to the town hall first, and you can see his disappointment right there. Ain't gonna happen here, Castro. As this queen charge is going to fall just a little bit short there. It is a 92% for Space Station Gaming. Opening the door once again for Penta to take it on the final attack of the war. Good luck. Penta! Tim! I have the wrong camera up here. We are on the wrong team. That's Bar... That's Bernal and his mighty mustache. Let's get Tim up here if I can find his camera. Oh, I lost him. Ah! No, I found him. I found him. There he is. There's Tim. Apparently, he put himself into his own background there, and he's uh, outside chilling in the middle of winter. I don't know. Even though it's winter here. Maybe it's not winter there. Maybe he's, he's from Australia or something like that. No, well, he's not. He's from... He's from German. Germ Germany. 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 Those things. We got the queen. Gonna go to the north here. I'm just gonna stop talking and just start announcing. That's, that's my problem here. <laughs> But he'll charge his way up towards the town hall here as he will fight out that lava hound after uh, Yeti Blimp. Oh, wait. Hold up. I, I'm i sitting there blabbering on. Guys, Tim's coming in with massive Valkyries on this one here. After that Yeti bomb. I want to see if he can pull this off. Let's see if it can happen, guys. Good luck. Good luck. This could swing the whole war right here if he can get this. <laughs> All right. Queen going at the town hall here. Valkyrie forming the funnel for him. He will have a wizard drop in the bottom of the base there. Let's zoom all out so we can see what's coming in at the bottom here. He's got the super wall breaker to charge into that eagle artillery. The king comes down. The RC comes down. RC will go take out the multi inferno here, but he needs to set up a champion to die. She needs to go down there, but this world champion is going to run into her, but he's got it under control there. A couple of headers come in. He's able to power through even without those headhunters arriving in time. And this world champion will get that multi further down. Keeping the Valkyries charging straight forward to the base there. They had the ward ability protecting them, but that's not giving them a huge amount of punch there. The queen, they're doing good up top. The Valkyries, we can still hear them starting to die out there, but, oh, wait. No, they are getting the punch. What? <laughs> Valkyries are going the distance on this one. Oh my God, they're still alive. They're still stacked with the king. He protects the world champion through the multi inferno. The Valkyries and the king and warden circle their way back. He wall breaks in. Oh my God, absolutely love it. Tim has got the triple here and Penta's back in this baby. Let's go. Queen circles north and Tim can sit back and celebrate. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, you can, I love these cameras, guys. Love to see the cameras of the players. That's an awesome touch here to this tournament. And uh well played here, Tim. Well played. Bernal is ready. He stretches his mustache and he's off. Here we go. The final attack of the war and he's going to need a 97% for the tie and he needs 98% for the win. If he get it. That's pretty much a triple or Basically a time fail. That's not gonna happen without an completely annihilating the base here. But guys, look at this. He's got a Bernal is using 10 healers and 12 hogs on this one. Ooh, this could be good. This could be good. It's a high stress situation here. Let's see if we can get it done. Bean will start in the top corner here. He'll get the queen to go around this eagle artillery compartment. Looks like he's trying to push her into the channel. Luna coming down the line and take out the Arc Tower, help drive the Queen into the base. 
has his pop around that Town Hall card. He can reach him, though, but that might draw his queen up to the left there. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, she stays to the right, and she's heading down the channel here. Able to fight off the queen, the scatter, and the CC from there. Can also reach the water statue. Let's see what his plan is for the Town Hall. Maybe the blimp takes the Town Hall. He will need to also deal with that single Inferno as he moves in the channel as well. Brought an Earthquake for some reason. I don't know what the Earthquake's gonna be used for, but he'll rage up this uh, Queen as she goes to the core of the base there and then starts his King on the far left side. King will go into the Eagle compartment? I'm not sure. Oh, uh, what? What? He drops in the Log Launcher with the King. That'll go in there and take out the Eagle Artillery while the King fights off the enemy King. A header comes down to help assist that King. A little bit late on that. Headhunter, but a couple ground skillers are now popping on this log launcher. He'll freeze them up there to keep that damage off of it, as it is going to give the queen access to the town hall compartment and that single inferno there. He quakes it to take some of the damage off the. Well, that actually opens up the walls there, and at least helps get the walls open so he doesn't have to bring a jump spell. That's one way to do it a little bit cheaper. But he'll go invisible and get the single inferno down. A couple of ice golems and balloons split off to go. Follow the Royal Champion and the Warden that are coming with another walk on the far left side. A couple of hogs up with the Royal Champion taking heavy damage, but not going to ability. The hogs have picked up the tanking. The ice golems that came out of the log launcher also providing some tanking here. And a lot of protection in there. There's the Warden ability saving everybody in the middle of the base there while the Queen takes that Town Hall down. Their healers might get targeted here, but there's so much distraction for the beams that in front of the healers are passing close and not getting targeted. And this Queen is staying safe. RC pops her ability. And these healers on the backside have uh, somehow followed the yak. I, I don't, I don't understand that. But Bernal's looking good here. The queen does ultimately go down, but the world champion is crossing across the base here. He's got some hogs in the mix as well, and Blinds on the backside, and Bernal has got it. <laughs> does he have the time? I think he's got the time. I think he does. The yak will give access to those buildings in the middle base there, and there we go. What is that? What is he flashing up there? Uh. Creative. <laughs> yes. Yes, I think he was indeed creative on that one. <laughs> what? No! 99%! But all he needed was a 98% to take the win. And it'll be good enough. A 12 to 12. What a fun war. Thank you to the organizers of Torneo de Fuego and the teams for coming out today and putting on this show match. Absolutely love it. And if you enjoyed it too, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more, and we'll see you in the next one.